guys, welcome back to my mom's channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I don't know if I like this angle I forgot to bring a tripod I am at the new house by the time we by the time you guys yes I have announced that we bought a house yeah I don't have a tripod here so you guys are literally on this like shelf thing but I thought it'd be fun if we got ready together because I just went to the gym this morning and now I'm home Sam's at work it's 11.04 Arabella is sleeping. I went to the gym this morning. I, he had like a little morning with her. And then he went to work. I didn't like just leave my child. But I thought it'd be fun to... Oh, I forgot my powder. That sucks. I thought it'd be fun to get ready together and kind of share what's been going on in my life. Because life has been a little bit crazy lately. And... Yeah, basically, I don't even know where to even begin, but it's been a crazy couple months, to say the least. And actually, I'm just going to do light makeup, I guess, today because I don't have all my products, like my face stuff. I think I'm just going to do bronzer, blush, and then eyeshadow. Um, I don't have like my under eye stuff, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Um, lately, it's been a little bit crazy. I'm so still at my apartment in Delray and I also we also got this house and we are trying to like get furniture as fast as we can but we also are trying to get furniture that we actually like so a lot to talk about in this video anyways guys let's get into my makeup even though I just started I know that I already started rambling in this video so sorry about that but Today we are going to, I think, TJ Maxx. Like I just said, we got some stuff for the house, but spooky season is coming. We put our table together last night. I love the table. Like it's every single thing I've ever wanted in a table. It's like exactly what I wanted. So that's amazing. I haven't used this palette in so long and I'm not gonna use it today. I'm slowly moving my stuff here. Uh, I'll just use this one, I guess. Um, I'm slowly moving my stuff here. Nothing like too crazy yet. All of Arabella's stuff still obviously at the apartment, like her changing table, dresser, rocking chair and her crib and like all of her clothes um it's so hard to like just pack up everything i feel like i just moved to south florida too so and it only has been eight oh nine months i think it's been nine months since i moved down there that's actually kind of crazy and i love it down there but obviously sam's not down there so kind of parenting is all on me unless we come up here or we go to like disney together so it'll be nice to have him help me parent and be around basically because it is hard she is the most sassy little baby ever she constantly like tests me and I really don't know why. Like, I don't know what I kind of did to deserve this. So, anyways, that has nothing to do with the house. But, for her room, I want to do all pink. And then I also found this really, really cute wallpaper I think I'm going to do for her room. For, like, an accent wall. And then I'm thinking about getting her. That's all I'm doing for my face, by the way. I think I might get her this, like, activity desk thing because she's very into like putting her babies up on the there's a scratch in our mirror oh my goodness she's very into putting her babies on tables and acting like you know like playing with them on the table 
which I think is so cute. And I know she would just benefit so much and she would love the little desk that I'm thinking about getting her. Also guys, I've been doing this rosemary spray that I've used, I made myself. So basically all you do is you put rosemary, uh, rosemary and then you put it in a pot and then you boil it and then you let it sit. I do it in mine and Arabella's hair every single night. We spray it in our hair and I have noticed such a difference in my hair and her hair especially. Um, I can now put it in a ponytail so 10 out of 10 do recommend doing that. Wow, why can't I get my hair straight today? Look at this. I literally cannot get my hair straight. Yeah, I brought my hair extensions. I might even put them in today. I don't know, though. I really, really don't know. Um, but I've noticed a huge difference in my hair, which is pretty cool. I feel like it's, like, grown a lot. I'm going to do something with my hair. So I think I'm going to straighten it. I don't put heat on my hair often. And considering I went to the gym today, it's a little bit oily. So, but I love this house. The only complaint I have really is just this bathroom is a lot smaller than what I'm used to right now, which kind of sucks. It's just very small. If you guys saw the video before this one, uh, I did an empty house tour. I'll even link it in the down box below. But this bathroom is just not big and I hope one day we'll be able to like demo it. I think that might be a plan. I don't know. A couple things I do need to buy is a chair for like dining room chairs for the table out there. I'm gonna do an updated, I'm gonna do an updated video on like basically the house. Why do I feel like this is just not straight? I'm gonna do an updated video on the house and basically what we have so far and kind of the ideas. One of the ideas I have is changing all the knobs in our house to black. We already did the front door, which I, thank God I found on Amazon, but we changed it to like a door handle. I love door handles. I'm not a big fan of door knobs. I feel like door knobs just don't look as good as door handles. So, and Sam wants a door knob. So I'm trying to convince him to just see it my way and let's just get the door handles in black. Um, so there's that. And then today we're gonna go to TJ Maxx. I might even vlog today, I'm not really sure. But me and Arabella might go to TJ Maxx, get some cute stuff. Halloween, I think we might even be up here for Halloween. I have no idea. I don't really know what the plan is. Tiffany, my sister, wants me to trick-or-treat. She wants Arabella to trick-or-treat in her neighborhood. But I don't know. We're going to be doing the Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween party, but that's in a couple weeks from now, uh, and I will film that as well. For actual like Halloween day, I think we might be here. Oh, wait, maybe it's a Tuesday, so maybe we won't be here because during the week we are down in South Florida. And sorry, I've been taking such a long time off. I literally took a month off from videoing and everything. I literally go through periods where I don't want to be around anyone. I don't want to do anything. I literally second guess my whole entire life. And it's just really stressful because obviously, like I said, I parent Arabella mostly alone since Sam's up here and we're down there and at times it gets really really hard because I always think you know if he was down there with me helping not helping because he does help obviously um but if he was down there maybe she would listen to me like a little bit more because of you know the male figure I just feel like she would listen a little bit better so i get really stressed out about that and i go see a, i do see a therapist and basically we've come to the conclusion that if i'm not constantly busy and constantly doing something um my mind drifts <laughs> which is not the best thing because then i get burnt out when i'm constantly go 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 
and doing stuff um but it works for me like if i'm not going to the gym at night i'm overthinking in my bed if i am not studying for my real estate test i am literally overthinking why am i like doing this when am i gonna get that started and studying for your real estate test if you've ever done that it's hard like it's not this like easy little test it's like an actual big deal so that's what I've been kind of doing. I've been literally studying 24 seven, focusing on myself and like just trying to come up here as much as I can without burning myself out. But then again, it's hard coming up here because like this is literally where my brain goes and it's hard coming up here because obviously Sam has work on the weekends, most weekends. And Arabella hates driving in the car. So a three hour drive here and a three hour drive back with a crying baby, that's hard. Like it's so hard doing it with her. And like people are like, oh, just put the TV on. She has an iPad. Like she can go through two movies and still cry. She just hates the car, which is really sad because we have to be in the car. So that really sucks. But I feel like the people that do have unnecessary comments in my life have really tried to get out of my life. Um, obviously, having Arabella with me is like the best thing in the world. And that's all I want to do is hang out with her because she's my best friend. But also, I need me time. It's hard to see people when like, I love my friends, but some of them... It's like, why do I want to go out with you if you just don't make me feel amazing? And I think that's where I come, like, that's where I go in my mind. I'm like, why would I even go out when I literally just want to be home with my kid, spending every single moment with her because she makes me the most happiest. And why wouldn't I, like, be around her if she makes me happy, you know? So... It's very, very hard to find a balance with friends and, you know, everything. I love this straightener. This is like the best straightener in the world. Also, I got layers in my hair and I'm just now like seeing each layer. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. Um, but friendships lately just, I just feel like everyone needs a break. Everyone like doesn't need to know my business everyone like the people that like I cannot stand when people Ask information and then talk bad about you to like other people Does that make sense like you get so happy like for instance We got this house and we were so happy We got this house right and of course someone I was like, oh my god, congratulations on the house. And then, I'm like, oh my god, thank you. And then they talk about it negatively to other people. Look at my postpartum's hair. That's crazy. It's like, why are you, like, in my life? I don't understand. Like, if you're really not happy for me, there's the door. Like, you don't have to be in my life. I'm not forcing you to be in my life. And, like, that's weird. You would even, you would even like talk negatively about it i don't understand it because i feel like i'm genuinely happy i'm going in with this Kristen ease okay i love this stuff it's the dry shampoo and i have the mini i have the mini one so i can travel with it okay but it's like why would you even say anything when you're just not happy like are you just trying to talk shit <laughs> i don't really get it so that's i just needed a break from everyone i think at the end of the day like i said i'm most happy with my daughter and sam and you know that it is what it is with people you just kind of got to figure out who your real friends are and i've also noticed that it's really good for me to listen to podcasts instead of, you know, doing um, music. Because obviously music, I feel like when I'm really, really sad, I listen to depressing music. And when I'm really, really happy, 
I listen to happy music like everyone, but when I'm in the car and my thing is on shuffle, I do not want a sad song coming on when I'm happy because then it's going to turn my whole entire mood into, you know, being sad. So I don't know if I should do my hair extensions. Look how much my hair has grown and look how much my hair is like actually healthy now. Well, this is going to be really embarrassing if I did not get every strand perfectly straight. Let me look really fast. I think I'm gonna do hair extensions either. I think I might save that for tomorrow. We're going to church tomorrow, so I might, you know, do that tomorrow. But that was my little rant. Basically, cut people out of your life that just don't make you happy and spend more time with the people that do make you happy, and you just gotta keep going in life. And that's like literally all I have to say. It is literally raining. We have like a skylight up there. I just straightened my hair. Ugh, what a waste. But sorry this video is like all over the place. But thank you guys so much for ranting and listening to me. And I really appreciate the people who still follow me and still watch all my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.